In this video, we're going to attempt to find angles given what the sine, cosine, or tangent equal. Here we're told in this first example, the sine of a is equal to 0 0.5, or 1 half. We don't really know what the angle is that gives us 0.5, and so we have to kind of do the opposite of the sine. If you're using a trig table, go down the sine table to look for the 0.5 value. If you're using a calculator, we'll use the inverse function, which is often written as sine negative 1 of the 0 0.5 equals a. In other words, we unsign the 0.5 to figure out what angle goes with the a. And quite often, to get sine inverse on your calculator, often it's called the arc sine. Um, you might have to hit the second button or the shift button on your calculator to get to the second features, and right above the sine, you see the sine inverse. And so if we type in sine inverse of 0.5 on our calculators, we get a value of 30 degrees is equal to a. This is because the sine of a 30 degree angle is 0 0.5. Similarly with cosine, since we can't plug b into the cosine, what we're going to do is we're going to do the cosine inverse of the result of 0.667. That must equal b. So on our calculator, we type in cosine inverse of 0.667, and that gives us an angle of approximately after rounding, or if you're using a table, getting pretty darn close to 48 degrees is equal to b. Similarly, with tangent, we can calculate an inverse tangent of the 1.54 to find out what angle that should be. The inverse tangent of 1.54, after rounding, it's pretty darn close to 57 degrees is equal to c. So you want to make sure you know how to use either your calculator or your trig table to find the angle if we're given the ratio. We're told it's 0.5, so do the inverse to get 30 degrees.